Really? Looks like it. Let's see. Look at that. That's the ice storm of 2022, everybody. Now, it didn't get too bad. Not as bad as they said it was going to do. And we're thankful for that. Uh, but I'm out here in the middle of the woods, and we we got a little ice. I mean, if you look, let me bring us down here. It won't bend down that far, Al. You see why I wear a hard hat? Ice just fell and hit me right on the helmet. Here's what we had. We had maybe three-tenths of an inch of ice. Which, I mean, that's bad enough. And then it snowed a little bit this morning. And uh, I can't stand up on the side of this hill because every time I stand still, I start sliding back. But we never lost power. And that's good. Uh, all my trees are still standing, as far as I know. I've heard a few limbs break out. But last year, I lost about 60% of the trees on my property. And this year, I don't think I've lost it. Well, probably ain't many left loose. And the ones that I didn't lose is probably pretty strong. So it's going to take a lot more than that. But, oh man, how's everybody doing? I got some friends up in southern Indiana. They got about two inches of snow on top of a half an inch of ice. On, uh, and in between all that was a big layer of sleet. So they got a sleet sandwich. So, but uh, they said they never lost pear or nothing like that. So that's good. And uh, that place is supposed to get hit pretty hard. And I'm just glad everybody's okay up that way. And it didn't do as bad as they thought it was going to do. And, and I'm sure happy about it. You don't know how happy I am. Last year, we didn't have a pair for seven days. All we did was laid awake at night listening to trees crash all around the house. You know, I was thinking, well, maybe one we come through the roof any time. But luckily, it never did. I had one hit the back of my house, but it didn't do a whole lot. Just knocked a hole in my side. About that big, about like a golf ball or something. But yeah, we've been out running around looking this morning. We ain't really seen nothing look too bad. But if you do get out, you know, you don't get out unless you have to. And, and be safe. You know, got to stay safe. Like my hard hat, you know. Got to stay safe. You never know when something fall out of a tree, hit you on the hard hat. <sighs> I tell you. Yeah, the safety's always first with me, you know. I'm, I try to stay safe about everything I do. And hopefully this weekend, it's going to get... If I ain't working, I'm going to try my best to do a couple more videos. We'll get out and do some more videos. I, I'm down in the woods here, and I ain't seen no, uh, I ain't seen no mountain lion tracks. And I ain't seen no tigers, nothing like that. I don't think there'd be tigers around here, though. We're way too far <laughs> north for that. But at least I hope so. But a lot of people says we don't have mountain lions either, but I know we do. I've seen one. I've seen the tracks. I've seen the actual animal. And I'm not the only one seeing it. A lot of people have been seeing it around this area. Uh, we got Sasquatch. We got turkeys. We got deers. I believe my daughter even thinks she might have seen a skinwalker one time down in here. But now this place is unreal at the stuff people have seen in this area. This area right here where I'm standing. Okay. And uh, I've had people say that something will walk to the edge of the woods if you're outside and if you'll look real close in the evening you can see it in the edge of the woods looking up at you and but it won't come out of the woods but <laughs> and i'm in the middle of the woods but then it ain't the edge of dark either it's right in the middle of the day for me got me a new ring light well actually my daughter got one but i'd say i'll probably be using it more than she will and uh, we're going to bring that out here and try it out one night and see just how it works and we'll give you a little sample of that and uh We'll try to get that done. We'll try to do that this weekend too. I gotta get my camera charged up real good because it runs off a of USB, so it's gonna be running off my camera battery. So I gotta make sure we got a good charge. And if not, I just have to bring my computer out here and we'll run it off it while we're That'd be fun. That'd be fun. We'll do that. Let's get out here and see if we can hear something at night and get my ring light going and we'll see what the night quality looks like on this camera. Y'all see? But anyway. I gotta watch that tree right there because that's the one that almost broke my ribs last about <laughs> three weeks ago. Man, it about took me out, I'm telling you. So, look at the eyes. These eyes, they were. But that's all right. At least everybody's doing pretty good. I'm glad everybody's safe and just uh, take care of yourself and each other. Check on each other every now and then. And I got some friends that uh, we've been. I hear the tree limb fall. We've been messaging back and forth through all this and been staying in contact. And I, everybody's uh, 
that's what it takes sometimes, you know. Hey, y'all doing up there? What's going on up there? Well, we got this and this. What y'all doing? You know, and then we'll kind of communicate back and forth. Kind of takes your mind off things, you know. And that, that's what it is. That's what it's all about. That's just like me coming out here wearing a hard hat in the middle of the woods. Hey, it's safe. But I won't take this hat off. Everything I wear, I wear over this hat. Because here's another limb pop. I hear people talking, don't know who they are. But anyway, we'll get up off here. Y'all take care of yourself and be safe. Take care of each other. It's Buddy Isaacs, and I'm out.